He told me he was the first to arrive in the park. Some said he was there before the protests even began, but there's no doubt he was one of the last to leave. I am not an activist, and for the first time in my life, I am questioning that. I feel guilty. I don't spend my precious time doing anything for the greater good. Yes, I do some things for the good in my immediate circle. I try to be a good mother, a good daughter, a good friend. I try not to do harm. But I am aware that there are many people in the world who are active and spend their precious time making a bigger world better. People who speak out. And I don't. And I'm musing on that now that I'm finally off the treadmill because I have a little money in the bank. Because it shames me. It kind of shames me about how little I know politically and how, how little I do politically. I'm still on this, I have been on this small hamster wheel of my own survival for many, many years. And when I heard about the protests in St. James Park, I thought, I thought, yes, yes, they're right, yes, we, we must, this is outrageous. And I went down that first day with my recorder and I interviewed Julian and Faisal. I met Gia while she stood with Brielle and the others. I found them one by one and I heard what they had to say and I felt this moment of possibility open up. A connection in my life that I had not felt before. And I felt that this, this was a moment when everything could change. And I went home filled with excitement and then